Hello guys, welcome to this absolute beginner introduction video. We will just create like this little USB charger and I will just show you like the absolute basic operations and yeah, how plasticity works and all that stuff. So if you're an absolute beginner, definitely check that out. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So you can download plasticity at plasticity.xyz website, test it for 30 days. So let's start when you open it you will have, have this little cube as like in Blender. So you can just uh, click on it and press X to de de uh, delete it. And first of all, like, let uh, me sh uh, show you something. So if you just create, uh, don't worry, I will just show you something. Very basic here on the top left, you have like the selection modes. So if you press one, you can select the points, for example, yeah, of this area here. Then if you press two, you can select like the individual edges. If you press three, you can select like all of those faces. And if you press four, you can select the whole object. So like this cube here. And if you press tab, you can select everything. So yeah, you can just use the selection here faster. So also what is like very cool about plasticity you can like make really easy fillet so if you select this edge here and you want to fillet it then you just have here to drag it and then you can also right click to confirm it and then just go to that edge and you don't have to select all of those edges if you have like already filleted an edge <clears throat> then it's enough if you select one edge so all of the edge will be affected by the fillet so you can either fillet it or go into the negative direction and create like a chamfer. So this is really cool. And control Z just uh, to go back. And here on the right, you have like, yeah, basic uh, planes that you can create and like objects. So for example, here you can create like a sphere or here you can create like a uh, cube. So yeah, you drag where you want, like how, how big you want the cube and you can also snap like to 45 degrees. So you first create like the plane, left click and then just drag it up or down to, yeah, to create like the body and right click to confirm. And yeah, the same here with the cylinder. So this is really cool. And also if I delete everything with X again, you can create here like basic, um, planes. So for example, like a polygon. So you can snap it here again, like to the middle and just drag it out and left click. And then you have like five sides or you go again, create it. And here on the bottom right, you see always additional commands. So if you see here, if you press shift and wheel up, you can um, add vertices points. Or if you go down with the um, scroll wheel, you can like make it less. So this is fine. Right click confirm and you can just delete it. And yeah, so let's start here with our little product here. So it's always good if you have some reference images because yeah, you can, because yeah, you can work then much better and you know exactly what you're modeling. So yeah, for that example, um, yeah, I won't do like the absolute perfect um, proportions, all that stuff. So I just want to show you. So let's first start like with this main body here and with like this area. So you can, you have like here this cube. And so let's start with the top view. So we could either go like top view or just press like this on the top here of the cube. And let's start by creating um, a plane, a rectangular plane and press tab. If you press tab, you yeah, go like to all direction at the same time. So let's make something like that. I think that's cool. And now you see like we don't want with B just fill it that because you see like those edges are straight. But here you see we have like a little rounding. So if you press control Z, what we can do we can just drag and draw like here a kind of a rounding. So what we need, we need, because right now, if I want to select only that top and bottom edge, like I can't do it because it's like one like continuous edge. I can break this whole area 
with this command here. So you see here are like a lot of different commands. What you can do now with this selected yellow edge, but what we want is just unjoin curves or sheets or just press Alt J. So now again, like our uh, edge is selected. So now you see, we can just select one of the edges at the time. So this is perfect because now we want to select those two edges and create this curve, right? So what we need, we need one extra point here in the middle. So we can drag that point as we do here. So if I just select that point and press G and you see, I can right click and just yeah play with the point around, but we want to add here an additional point. And for that, we have to subdivide that edge and that we are just doing by going here on this icon and subdivide curve or just press Alt one. And now you see we have like two additional points and now we can just select them. So just drag with the mouse and press S so we can scale them. And then we have like, yeah, this pivot thing here, control, and we can drag it like outside or inside. And we just want to drag it like a little bit outwards. So if you press now right click to confirm it, you see we have something what we want, but now we want to add like those uh, fillets or bevels but we can't do it because again, like all of our edges are like separate. So we have to again, join them all. So I select them all with shift click and just press and just here on the plus join curves or sheets or just press J. And you see now again, everything is just one curve. And now we can select it and press B if like here, fillet edge curve of vertex. So we can just press B and just drag with the mouse it a little bit. So we have something like that. And yeah, that looks absolutely perfect. And now what we want to do, we want just to extrude that body a little bit out. So we press three. So we have our face mode and we select this face. And then we have like this control thing here and we can just drag it up. So very simple. And yeah, maybe just a tiny bit more right click again to confirm it. And now what we want to do, if we go here to the top, yeah, it's a little bit dusty, but we have like here a little, yeah, like cut inside, right? So we want to do that before we create like this part here on the top. So what we can do is just, we again, select face mode, select this face and we have like a command again, if we just check out here, everything, what we can do, we have something like offset curve. So press O or that button and just drag a little bit with the mouse. So you see, we can offset the outer edge of the face, right click to confirm and perfect. And now what we can do, because we have like now the edge, we press two, we can select this curve here and select all of those parts. So now we have to select all curves. And now we want to cut this whole body along this edge, like downwards. So we can just press C. This is the command uh, for cutting. Or first of all, before we press C, you see, we can't cut it because first of all, we have to separate this selection into a separate curve. And that we can just do by shift D. And now you see we have that curve separately and yeah, we can move it around and all that stuff. And now that uh, curve is separate. So we can now press C like here on the left. You also have some additional commands. So cut solid with curve. So we select the curve, press C. And now it's showing us the command like cut and select target bodies. We have to do it. So this thing is then green and we just select with left mouse click this main body and you see it's green. And yeah, it's cutting and also it will cut here on the, on, on the downside, right click to confirm. And now we can basically delete this curve. So select it, press X. And if we press tab, we can select this inner body and with G, we can bring it out or down. So perfect. And because now those are like separated, we can select like this outer body and select just the inner um, edge and just, yeah, create, you see, we can create like a chamfer or a fillet, but I will go just, yeah, yeah, with a uh, uh, fillet. 
And also for the same side, we select the main body in the inside, select this little uh, edge here and again just drag it so we create a chamfer. Also what you can do here on the top right you can yeah you can toggle between a few options for example yeah if you don't want to toggle between perspective and orthographic view so one is looking like yeah like just very wide angle camera or the other one is this is I think um, orthographic so it's just like everything very straight so if you would have like a camera with like very big focal length then also here you can just toggle like some overlays and the grid and also here very use I'm using that very often you can toggle like the x-ray mode or alt z so now you see you see the edges between the object uh, behind the object if you press alt z you only see what you see like on the front so I press Alt Z again and then here on the right click you can toggle between different materials like you can adjust them also like with M key M key and yeah do some adjustment here but yeah this is not so important right now and also like show edges and not and you see because we added some fillets like it looks yeah just look at this hi highlight and yeah that looks very beautiful and what we are just missing is like also a fillet here on this outer edge. So let's select this edge and also give it like a little fillet and bam and look how clean everything looks already. So I go back to the normal view so right click and this thing here and also show edges and let's create like this shape here on the top. We just go here on the top view and first of all we just create like a rectangle go into the center snap it mouse click and just with tap we will create like yeah something that uh, fits more or less so I think something like that right click and now we also want to add like this triangle here so for that we can just use yeah like this line tool so now we can just create like a new line and yeah snap it to this point and now you see we want it right in the middle here but it doesn't work so what we can do is for example just go here to the center origin and press shift because then you see you get like purple lines and those are like yeah some helping construction lines and now we can snap uh, snap exactly here to the middle so we will do that right click to confirm and now we just want to bring uh, bring it on the other side so press here mirror command alt x and we can just use either this thing here and we will just bring it over or if we go back select it again alt x just press x so we mirror it on the x axis perfect so now now also we want to join them so select them both press j and now it's one curve and now we can just select only this point here and press b so yeah we can create like a nice bevel and what we can do also now is, to, is just take this new curve here and just bring it over to the other side so again just alt x and just click here on the screen thing and you have it on the other side right click and you see like here it's blue so yeah like this area is you can work with the area but we have like also additional edges here lines that we don't need so for that you can just use t for trim and just click on this one and on this one and right click and you see now everything looks clean and also you see here we have some bevel so let's bevel those edges here but for that we have to again join all of those curves select them all press J and now select only those two points here and only those two points with shift click press B and just drag a little bit around so we have like some nice curves and now we can again just everything here is on the top selected we can select our face here and just drag it up that looks fine and again you see like I look through I don't want it right now so I press alt z so I toggle off the x-ray view and now I want to create like here you see it's going like an extrude like to the inside so again we just select here this main face and we want like this outer edge so we just press o and we just bring it in a little bit right click and this face is selected so we do it once again and we bring it again just a tiny bit inwards perfect right click 
And now you have like three different faces. So this one, then this outer one and this middle one. So press three face mode and just select this in the middle here. And now you can just drag it a little bit downwards, right click, confirm it and perfect. And you see everywhere we have like some fillets. So let's do that again. Press two for edge mode. We fill it this curve here. And those two curves, we just give like a very tiny fillet. So something like that. Let's have a look again here, right click. You see everything looks like very beautiful. So let's go back, show edges. And also we don't need this curve anymore. So I just selected X to delete it. And now let's create, yeah, like that thing here in the, um, on the top. So we go to the top view and we here, we will create a center circle and let's create it in the center and then drag it up. So it's in the middle. So I just create some circle approximately this size here, right click, confirm, press G, the move command. And now you can just move it. Yeah. Somewhere here approximately right click and again, alt X to mirror it over on the other side. So press this green here, right click. And now you can just select those faces and just bring them outwards. Yeah, it doesn't have to be exact, something like that. Right click, confirm. And again, we have like those circles here. We don't need them. So select with shift X, delete. And now we want just to fill it like as much as possible, those edges here on the top. So you, you see, we will create like a perfect circle on the top. So yeah, very easy. And what we also can do, you see, like here on the top, those me metallic parts are a little bit thicker than those parts in the middle. So what I will do, I will just go to the side view and I will create a line. Yeah. So somewhere like here and we'll just drag it over. So now we can use that line to cut our bodies here. So I select the line, press C, select this body, right click. And again, this edge here, C, and we will cut this body, right click. And now you see already it's cut into separate parts. I will select this curve, X deleted. I will go to face mode and select those two faces here. And we can just, you see, we can just a little bit extrude them. So yeah, we can make it either bigger or smaller. Really, really cool. And again, just let's go to edge mode by pressing two and give this outer edge just a little chamfer. So it just looks a little bit cleaner. Perfect. So yeah, then you can export it and assign like a different material. And also what we want to do is combine, if we press tab, combine this part with this part, this part, and this to combine everything. We have to use like the Boolean operation. You see it here or press Q. And now you can see a lot, a lot of different options, but we just want to unify everything. So if we press again Q, bam, everything gets blue and then everything will get um, yeah, connected together. And yeah, you also have like difference and all that stuff, but we need like Q, right click to confirm. And you see like this part here is like one piece like it is in the original one. So right click, perfect. And also again here on the bottom, we just have like this curve. We can delete it by uh, pressing X. And also we want, yeah, I don't want to see the grid. So I just disable it. And again, just with the edge mode, I will fill it those two edges here because yeah, here, like you see, oh, like even this middle part is going a little bit more inward. So we can do that by yeah, selecting the face mode, select this face and just drag it in a little bit. So that looks very fine. And also we can give by edge mode again, like this fillet here on the outside. So that looks fine. And let's just add a, um, like, yeah, like a little hole without like the whole detail. So what we can do now is just, yeah, select this bottom here of the cube. So we can see directly at the bottom. And again, create a rectangle, go to the middle, drag it out, press tab and like this little USB slot, right click, we press B to fill it a little bit. What we can do is, yeah, I will just to show you that, just bring it with G a little bit down. 
and I will now extrude it and I will press all Z so I see like how far it goes. Yeah, cool, something like that. Now we can delete this uh, curve here and now if we press all Z again, we select this inner target body and select like this cube here that we want to use as a difference boolean. Again, we press Q and you see now if we would press again Q, it would combine into one part. But if we press W, we are subtracting this block from our main part in the middle. So right click and again just create like a little fillet and perfect. So this was really fast, really easy. So let's uh, check it out. So if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe because I will do a lot of videos and let me know what kind of tutorials you want to see and what 3D program and renderer you're using because I'm also planning to create those 3D models and then render it out with Cinema 4D and Octane Render. So like beautiful product renderings with photorealistic lighting and all that stuff. So let me know what you think and see you in the next one. Bye.